Mike Perlack here to entertain you. I haven't done one in the car in a while. Mike Perlack here to entertain you with the help of um, Edwin McCain. <laughs> I've had all I waited for and I could not ask for more. Could not ask for more than this that we do. Every dream has been answered. Every prayer has come true. Oh, right here in this moment, it's just where I want to be. Oh, here with you, here with me. <laughs> he also did another song, uh, <clears throat> I'll Be. I'll be your crying shoulder. I'll be. <laughs> I don't know if he's saying man, ban, or uh, um, fan. <laughs> I'll be the greatest man, fan of your life. <laughs> but, anyways, <clears throat> I've been listening to these CDs that I made. Uh, give her, I started making like give or take 15 years ago. I'm up to like CD number 7 now, but they basically consist of songs of, from tapes I made in childhood or songs I recorded off the radio or just songs that I remember enough in my mind or my memory to find it on, uh, find it on uh, social media somewhere. But anyways, <clears throat> it's been a while since I did one in the car, so I figured I'd do one. Um, you know, this, uh, this store I'm working at part-time, uh, I'm starting to notice uh, uh, differences between it and Walmart. Now, for the record, I haven't set foot in a Walmart in, uh, geez, going on four years since I started my Walmart boycott. Anybody who's been watching my crap for years, <laughs> yep, I, I've, uh, I uh, have not set foot inside a Walmart in uh, over four years, at least. <sighs> and I don't plan on now uh, we'll going there anytime soon. <laughs> but uh, um, but I'm starting to, uh, what I remember when I used to shop at Walmart, I'm starting to notice uh, uh, um, differences between the store, the store I'm working in Walmart. Um, oh, just in case you're wondering, I can count on my fingers how many times I shopped at a Target. <laughs> <laughs> so they haven't really got a whole lot of money off me over the years. <laughs> but uh, I'm starting to notice differences uh, between uh, my memory of shopping at Walmart and shopping at this store I'm shopping at. For example, the people in this store that I shop at that uh, uh, walk in there shop half naked <laughs> are a bit more attractive than the ones that shop at Walmart half naked. <laughs> So, definitely an upgrade. <laughs> but, uh, and also, too, I, I, uh, um, I got a mild annoyance whenever uh, um, I'm bringing up uh, you know, customers and they're buying onions and uh, potatoes. And I got a, a mild annoyance with myself because it's a constant reminder that I got to... Uh, get going on my my idea for my self-watering uh, onion and potato garden the onions make the potatoes eyes water <laughs> self-watering onion and potato <laughs> garden <laughs> I actually stole that from an old back to the future cartoon <laughs> anyways uh, <sighs> So, uh, I also wanted to take this opportunity to make this video to address some things that, uh, some video shorts I made recently and give them more of an in-depth reflection of why I made them. Specifically one I made about George Floyd, uh, it's got like 153 views. And I also got a few new subscribers, so I figured I'd make this video. So I'm just tired. I'm just tired of the leaders, leaders bending the rules for criminals. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm reminded of uh, the movie The Principal with uh, James Bellucci, 
when he says, No more! No more! That scene in the movie The Principal with James Bellucci, he just he calls all the students into the assembly, in the, uh, the auditorium for an assembly, and says, No more! No more, you know, illegal business on school grounds, all that stuff. And that's what I say too. No more! No more feeling sorry for criminals because of their abusive past. <laughs> Everybody in the world has had some sort of abuse in their past. No more. No more states overriding the parents' right to raise their children for the sake of some perverted ideologies that only amounts to more power for the state and government. No more. No more. No more having pride in lewd acts like men dressing in women's clothing and shaking their junks before the eyes of children. No more. No more minorities using their minority status to claim victimhood. <laughs> Reparations. <laughs> no more. No more virtual signaling to score points with the uh, so-called left-leaning progressive elitists. No more. No more biological men competing in women's sports. No more. Your time is up. <laughs> she was that Me Too BS from years ago. Your time is over, trans LBJ. Your time is done. No more being made to feel like something's wrong with me because I will not believe uh, that a person can change their gender through words and operations. <laughs> no more. No more. <sighs> Had some uh, interesting uh, back and forths. Uh um, text with my mother uh, recently, and um, <laughs> I think uh, she, she's starting to see things in a new light, which is good. You know, the, the, the whole idea of being human and being alive is being open to debate about everything and anything. That's why the leftists don't like don't 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 like debate because they can't debate. They don't have the rea reality and facts on their side. But uh, now we were just uh, back and forth about um, how feminism freed. I guess I have a love hate uh, with uh, uh, a relationship with feminism because it didn't free women. It, it, it in many ways it imprisoned women. It freed men. Uh, there's a lot of blue pilled beta simp cucks out there still. As a man, I'm, I'm not entitled to my own hopes and dreams. I'm not entitled to hopes and dreams of my own. As a man, I'm supposed to just adjust my life to the convenience of a woman. <laughs> well, to, co to quote something my mother always said when we were growing up, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, so I was uh, watching uh, watching a video the other day, and I got a came across something that uh, amounted to a pretty good joke. Um, do you know what a herpetologist is? <laughs> well, contrary to popular belief, it turns out it's not somebody who studies STD, STDs, but somebody who studies. Reptiles. <laughs> I got that from Thoughty too. <laughs> An English YouTuber with a mustache. <laughs> he did a video about some freaking alligator attack or something the other day. <laughs> Herpetologist. It's not somebody, it's not a scientist who studies STDs. It's a scientist who studies reptiles. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, anyways, I guess I'll uh, guess I'll end it here because I don't want it to be too long. I'm gonna have to invest in a new SD card soon. Again, I pre-record all my stuff uh, before I put it on uh, social media, just in case. Oh, I, I recorded uh, Trump's speech onto uh, uh, the, the speech from the uh, Faith and Freedom Coalition over the weekend. Recorded it onto uh, CD and then cassette um, so I can listen to it at work because an hour and a half, that's a lot of information there. <clears throat> Besides, somebody might hear something and it might make them think. <gasps> oh my God might hear something and it might make them think the sin of all sin they might hear something and it might make them think and then they won't be a democrat anymore <laughs> okay. Mike Berlick uh, thank you for your time <laughs>